Hello everyone, let's look at this uh, series right here. We have uh, a lot of factorial in there, actually just two, okay? So um, to test this series for convergence, we are going to use the ratio test. And so um, we start by writing down the A sub N turn, which is actually just, just this general form for the series. And then we also need to write down the next turn, which is the a sub n plus one turn. And then we we want to uh, take the limit of their ratio. Okay. So first, we are going to just write down the a sub n turn, which is actually just this turn, right? So this just whatever that's showing the problem. So we are going to get three to the n, and then n factorial. And then what do we get in the denominator? We have two n and then factorial. Okay, so now what is an, um, the next turn? The next turn is the a sub n plus one. Okay, and so for the a sub n plus one, we are going to have three to the n plus one. So wherever we see the n, we are going to replace it by n plus one. And then we are going to get the n factorial, so that's also being replaced by n plus one. And then factorial. And then from there, in the denominator, we are going to have two. And then now this one, we need to be a little bit more careful. When we put down the n plus one, we actually need to put a pair of parentheses around the n plus one because the two will get distributed to the n and the one. And then on the other side, there is the factorial. Okay, for this one, we probably need to do a little bit of simplifying before we will put it in the... Uh, before we will put it in the um, the ratio, the limit. Okay, so we can write it as three to the n, and then times three. So we are just using rules of exponents to break this three to the n plus one apart into three to the n times three to the first power. And then for this n plus one factorial, uh, if you see that there was the from the previous term there was an n factorial here. This is really just having an extra factor of that n factorial. So we can write this n plus one factorial as n plus one times n factorial. And then now we get to the denominator. So for the denominator, we are going to first, let's just realize that this is actually just two n plus two and then yeah, so instead of writing that, let's just let's just write down the whole thing. So it's actually just two n plus two, and then factorial. So to expand this one, we are going to write it as what? We are going to write it as two n plus two, and then two n plus one because that's the next factor, and then we are going to get the two n and then factorial. Okay, so the fraction line is too short, so it doesn't cover that. So let me just erase that and then let me redraw it so that it will cover all that. Okay, so now that's good. Okay, so what do we do next? We are going to start taking the limit of the ratio of the two, uh, two turns, right? So we are going to take the limit as n approaches infinity. We have the absolute value of the a sub n plus 1 over the a sub n. Okay, so what are we getting here? We are going to get we are going to get um, absolute value here, three to the n times three times n plus one times n factorial. Then from there we are going to get two n plus two, and then two n plus one, and then two n factorial. And then times. Now, when we multiply, we are going to multiply by the reciprocal of the a n because we are dividing by a n, right? So we are going to put the reciprocal of the a n here, which becomes what does it become? It becomes what two to uh, two n factorial. Okay, and then what do we get in the denominator? We get three to the n and then n factorial. So that now we have the um, absolute value. I think all those absolute value symbols, if I use a line two to draw them, it looks a lot better. Yeah, so that will be good. Yeah, that looks good.
Okay, so let's do a lot of cancelings here. So first we are going to cancel the three to the n, and then we can cancel out n factorial, and then we can also cancel the two n factorial. Okay, I think that's it. Um, there may be more stuff that we can cancel. And I should just mention here at this point that all the factors are positive. And so uh, we don't really need the absolute value anymore in the next step. So we are going to get n approaching infinity where we have the three times the n plus one in the numerator. I think that's it, right? So that's it for the numerator. That's all that. And then we have what we have now. Um, we see that there was a two for for the first turn and the second turn, so we can factor the two. And in fact, if we factor the two here, we are going to get we are going to get what we are going to get two times n plus one. So that means we are going to get two times n plus one right here, and then times what is the other factor? The other factor will be two n plus one, right? So two n plus one. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, we, we can we can actually just cancel one more thing right here. The n plus one will get cancel. Okay, so now our limit actually got simplified to a really simple problem now, which is let me see. So we are having just a three in the numerator, and then we have a two times the two n plus one in the denominator. Okay, so now what happens? Um, as n goes to infinity, right, we have the denominator approaching infinity, but the top is just a 3. So our answer will just be 0 for this limit. So now since this, uh, the limit of this ratio is less than 1, then we say that uh, the series is absolutely convergent, and so it's convergent. And so by the ratio test, series three to the n n factorial over what is that two n factorial converges and yeah so that's that okay so that's it for this problem it's actually a simple problem here and yeah, so um, thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.